look, there is a new editor out there. Every day there is a new editor. It's like I can't catch a break. I just decided which one I want, and now there's a new one. This is so ridiculous. Yeah, I know there's a lot of editors out there, but maybe you can do an assessment to see what you want. I don't know how to do that. Okay, have you tried asking yourself some questions on whether or not this is the right tool for you? No. Do you know the, what is the cost of the tool? No. Have you checked if it uses your code for training? No. Do you care if it should be a separate editor or just an extension? No. Do you care about the speed of its responses? I don't know. Do you care about what context it has of your code? Context? What do you mean? Well, some code editors have file-based context of your app, as in they know whatever is going on within that file. But outside of that file, they don't have so much context. Whereas some other tools have context of the entire app, so they have more repo-based context. Is that something you care about? I don't know. So what have you done so far? Complain to you? Hmm. That's so. Okay, here. Let me help you show you how you can do an analysis of a code editor and figure out if it is the right tool for you. Now, I've been using a code editor called Augment for a month just to see if it's going to be the right code editor for me. So let me walk you through my thought process to show you if this editor would work for me or not. Hi, I'm Shruti Kapoor, your favorite content creator and developer entertainer. In this video, I'm going to do an honest review of Augment and show you what my thought process is for testing a code editor since there are so many out there. Let's get into it. But before that, I have a question for you. Where did the API go to eat? To the restaurant. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. But first of all, what is Augment? Augment is an AI code editor. You may have heard of other code editors like Cursor or Copilot. Augment is the same kind of thing. One difference between Augment and other tools is that Augment is actually a VS Code extension. So you don't have to install a separate code editor for your tools. Now, because it's a VS Code extension, it means that your VS Code shortcuts work as well. Something that I really like about Augment is that it is a great onboarding buddy. I'll show you how. I have Augment running in this code base. Let's say this is the first time I'm checking out this project. I have no idea where the files are. The first thing that I typically do when I have my app running is I'll look at all of the files, right? So I'll open the Explorer, go to all of the files, go check out all the code in the file, check out all the components, and then I see that there are some files here, some files there, but maybe I am too lazy. So I could read code all by myself, or I could ask Augment, I could say, I'm new to this project. How can I get started making a new component for adding a pagination feature? And then let's see what it says. So it says based on this project structure and the current implementation in app.jsx, I'll help you create a pagination component for the properties list. First, create a new file for pagination component and it gives you all of the code that you probably need. Then it says modify app.jsx to implement pagination. Nice got index of stuff and things and then it says uh, create this page implementation creates a reusable pagination component adds pagination state and logic to app component shows pagination only when there are more properties and uses tailwind css includes smooth scrolling to top when changing pages it'll also tell you what how to test it create the new pagination file in the source components directory so it's already following the best practices of the app Update your app JSX with the new code, search for properties to see the pagination in action, which is awesome. So if I just got a ticket to like add pagination, this already helped me get a lot of this done. So I love that. Another example is let's say that I'm a new front end developer. I have no idea like how to even run this project. I could ask something like, how do I get this project running? And then to say based on the BB file, First, make sure you have the prerequisites, Node.js install, open AI app API key, rapid API key, convex account, then create an end file, do this npm install, npx convex login, npx convex dev, this is this, this. And if you encounter any issues, do this and this. 
check that the required ports are available oh my god like the level of detail that this has is amazing it's not just like spitting out readme but it actually has more context than that it knows what could be the problems it understands because it's read the code it understands that the required ports are 3001 and 5174 so if you're having any issue check that it also knows that that ensure you're having a compatible node.js version node.js 18.0 based on the comex dependency verify that all three servers are running simultaneously I cannot tell you how many times I've forgotten to run the convex server and I've had 500 errors in my code. So it's great that it's giving me this debugging tips already. This would be so helpful. The way this works is that Augment Chat is available within your code editor. So for example, if I'm working on this file, server.js, and if you look at this file, this is a pretty giant file. And I'm sure there's some things that can be improved and I'm sure it can be cleaned up a little. So if I go to this file, and I ask augment, which for me, the keyboard shortcut is command shift L. I start a new chat and I tell augment, clean up this file for me. And it's nice because I don't have to paste my code into chat GPT or anything else. It can work right from my code editor, which is awesome. And now it actually gives me details on all help clean up server JS. Here's a more organized and cleaner version. And then it tells you what it's going to do, but also at the bottom, it tells you exactly what it did. I organized imports and configuration at the top, separated utility functions from route handlers, added proper hand error handling with try catch blocks and other stuff. So overall, if I click apply, it will show me a diff of what it's going to do. And I like this a lot because it's not just going to blindly paste some code for me. I still have an ability to go and accept the code that I need. Okay, so here's the diff. So it'll show me here's what I did. This is what I removed. Do you want to accept or reject? And I can say accept. And then I'll go to the next one. Same thing, accept and so on. I can also hit accept all or reject all. So let's hit accept all. And there, within a second, my code base looks cleaner. Let's see what it did. It added middleware. Nice. Clean that up. Added utility functions. I could totally move that to a new file as well. Added async to some of the functions. What did I have? I think I had const. So sometimes it has its own opinions. Added a routes place. So made the code, so basically organized the code a bit more. So that was a quick overview of what augment looks like in action. And here's another example of what it can do. So in my app file, I have this return and I'm rendering a bunch of different stuff and I'm feeling kind of lazy to refactor it. So I can tell augment my little handy assistant to do this for me and if I hit command shift L and I'll say clean the return function let's see what it does okay so if you see now it's added some comments here but also what I like is that it's changed from div to main because it understands that this is the main component of the entire app and why is it able to do that it understands that this is the main entry point of this app therefore this must be the main component so I'm going to hit accept header. I don't really care about this. Didn't really do much here. Uh, Move this to a different line. I'm guessing accept action buttons. So here it has just added. Oh, it has added some styles and it has added a comment. So it's trying to do some things. It's trying to do some styling. Now, what I would have liked it to do is to actually create some components. It's not able to do that. So. It has changed my divs to section tags that is using semantic HTML, which is great because if you forget to use semantic HTML, this can do it for you. I like that. If you're an open source developer, it is free for you to use. Unlike cursor, which is a paid plan only, augment is free to use. However, this is if you have an open source project, which means that your project should be available for AI training. Because if your project is open source, it will likely be trained on. As with any AI tool, there are shortcomings. Number one, make sure you code review everything that it writes because there are possibilities when it generates the wrong code for your context. For example, I had an issue where I was generating code for convex database that I was integrating with and it imported a library for me which did not exist in the package that I had. So sometimes the training data may not be accurate, sometimes training data may not be present and it can give hallucinations. Ensure that you understand every single line of code that it is writing. In other words, don't use it as a crutch, use it as an assistant. 
Second issue that I've noticed with Augment is that my keyboard bindings sometimes conflict with VS Code keyboard bindings. It could be possible that I have imported bindings already from WebStorm, but sometimes it leads to unnecessary confusion and frustration. So I had to go back and redo some of the bindings for some of the keys that were important for Augment. And number three, I've noticed that some code editors get ahead of themselves and try to add too much code in there. So again, review the code that it writes for you and ensure that the step that you're taking is actually necessary. Now here's a question for you. Do you work in an enterprise? And if you do, does your enterprise allow AI code editors? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. I have seen some companies like Shopify allow their employees to use AI code editors, whereas in other companies, it is a strictly prohibited thing. Even using ChatGPT is not allowed. Where is your company on the AI transformation scale? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button and click on subscribe. Also, which AI tool are you using these days? Let me know. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Remember, you're stronger and smarter than you think. You may not be at your final destination just yet, but you've come a long way and that is worth celebrating. I will see you in the next video. Bye.